At this time, if you would please rise if you are able for the playing of our national anthem by the Nakusa High School Band.
Good afternoon and welcome to Nakusa High School. We are gathered here today for the graduation ceremony to honor the class of 2019. Amongst the members of this class are people who have excelled academically, artistically, on the athletic fields, or in other endeavors in the community. Many of them have demonstrated leadership at Nakusa High School in various organizations throughout our community. Working with students and watching them grow and helping them along on their journey towards graduation is a great part of being in education. Each year, we rec gather to recognize the students who are completing this chapter of their education and commencing with the next chapter of their lives. The class of 2019 is made up of many great people, each with their own accomplishments. Each of these students has made a mark on Nakusa High School and I hope that each of them feels ready to pursue their dreams. Some of the graduates will be continuing their education, some will be starting careers in the workforce, and some of the individuals here today have made the choice to embark on service in the military. At this time, would those graduates going into the military please stand and be recognized. Parents, grandparents, friends, family, school staff, members of the school board, and residents of the Nakusa community, there is much for us to be proud of in this graduating class of 2019. As we move forward with this commencement, I would like to ask Ms. Michaela Amundsen, one of our graduating seniors, to come forward to deliver the commencement address. Welcome family, friends, and fellow students. In case you haven't figured it out yet, my name is Michaela Amundsen, and I'm honored to have the opportunity to stand in front of you today on the most momentous of occasions, graduation. We as, e we as seniors have been looking forward to this day for the past 12 years of our lives. Many of us have had countdowns on our phones and checked them daily, but this is it. The day is finally here. Today we will walk across this stage to receive our diplomas and our high school years will officially come to an end. I have learned a lot throughout these past few years and I would like to share a few, thing, few of those things with you today. One thing I have been reminded of recently is the importance of gratitude. I would like to take this time to thank all of you in attendance today. I would not be speaking on this stage in front of you without the love and support that I have received from each and every one of you. I would like to extend a thank you to my teachers who have instilled in me the knowledge that I needed to earn this diploma. You have devoted your lives to bettering the lives of students. You have taught us many things about English, math, and science, but you have also taught us many things about life. I would also like to thank my family. I would like to thank my mom for always extending a shoulder to cry on and for packing my lunches every day for the past 12 years. To my dad, who has, pushed, who has always pushed me to do my best in everything that I do, and my sisters for distracting me from my own homework so I could help them with theirs. Last but certainly not least, I would like to th say thank you to my fellow classmates who have been by my side to make these past 12 years some of the best years of my life. Fellow graduates, take a look around. The people who are sitting beside us today have been with us through some of the most exciting parts of our lives. We have experienced many things together, both good and bad. Freshman year, we all struggled trying to find our classes. We tripped up the stairs in front of everyone, and we were afraid of the upperclassmen who forced us to wear garbage bags for Spirit Week. And finally, we had the opportunity to become fully immersed in high school activities if we chose to. It was during this year that I discovered life is what you make it. When we tripped up the stairs in the commons, we had the option to get super embarrassed or to stand up and laugh with everyone else. We had the choice to join the team or sit on the sidelines, and we had the opportunity to join numerous clubs, go to many dances, all of which made the high school experience even more great. So to all of the underclassmen in attendance today, I encourage you to join that sport, go to that dance, and stand up and laugh after you fall, because life is all what you make it. 
Sophomore year was very interesting. Many of us got our driver's license, so the late night spent at Perkins and Applebee's began. We learned more about climbing in the ceilings than we did about biology. <laughs> and Dylan created a successful GoFundMe page to earn a Harambe suit. <laughs> During this year, I learned that while homework is important, so is spending time with friends and family. Now by this, I don't mean blow off all your schoolwork to spend time with friends, but it's important to have a healthy balance between the two. Ten years from now, you probably won't remember writing that English paper, but you will remember the crazy adventures that you had with your best friends. Our junior year, many of us stressed about the ACT and became very familiar with John Baylor and Hammer the Grammar. We dressed up and danced the night away for our junior prom, where Adrian was crowned king for the second time. And we walked around the school dabbing and getting memed and that this is also the year that Heelys were banned. This year taught us the importance of hard work. As many people will tell you, junior year is the hardest year of high school. During this year, I took my first AP class and in turn had more homework than I was used to. Thanks, Mr. Stralo. <laughs> this also is the year, the first year that I found it necessary to set aside additional time to study. I spent many nights flipping through flashcards and memorizing different equations. However, it all paid off in the end. As a result of studying and all the AP stats homework, I passed the exam as well as the other challenging classes that I took in addition. As senior year rolled around, we were excited to be the big kids at school. We finally won the powder puff game, despite what the juniors may say, and many of us started applying and getting accepted to colleges. We were able to showcase our killer moves yet again at our senior homecoming, where Adrian was crowned king for the third time, <laughs> and we became even closer as a senior class. However, given that it was our last year of high school, we also experienced many laughs. Last games, which were bittersweet for all of the athletes, last dances, and last days of school, which for many led to an abundance of tears. This final year of high school has taught me that while this chapter of our lives may be coming to an end, a new chapter is just getting started. I, along with many others, am excited for what the future holds. Many of us will move to different cities, gain new experiences, and learn about things that we are passionate about. We have created so many memories together throughout high school, and we will create even more as we move on to the next chapter of our lives. Let's do this thing. Thank you, Michaela. Students with a cumulative grade point average of 3.5 to 3.749 are wearing silver cords today. And graduates with a cumulative GPA of 3.75 to 4.0 are wearing gold cords. Would these students with a cumulative grade point average of 3.5 and higher please stand? In addition, would the parents, step parents, or guardians of these students please stand as well? Please give these students and their families a round of applause and recognition of their academic achievements. Today we have three students who will be delivering honor speeches. Ms. Kelly Dine, if you would please come forward. Hi guys. <laughs> All right, <laughs> kind of starts off cheesy, but I've been dreaming of this moment for years. Truly cliche, I know. But I mean, what can you expect on graduation day? The day we have all been waiting for, it's here. The dedication, hard work, and adventures were all worth it. I promise I'll try to keep this the least amount of sappy as possible. Looking past 12 years, looking back on the past 12 years, it's tough to try and put all the memories and feelings into words. These years have been filled with learning, yes, in the classroom, but especially outside of the classroom, too. Each of us have wrote our own stories. We have begun and ended new chapters, and we have learned more about ourselves as the words were being written. In some ways, I believe the past 12 years have been like a mixtape. Hear me out. Some days are exuberant and full of happiness. Some are low with feelings of sadness and remorse. Each day is a song, each one with a different rhythm and tone to it. 
each one adding to the long list of songs making our mixtape of life. Days like today, we listened to School's Out by Alice Cooper, and we jammed to I Live by One Republic, because we truly did it all. Memories of all the laughs with our classmates that surround us bring back old Skate City throwbacks like Fire Burning and I Got a Feeling. I mean, remember when we all dressed up like lumberjacks? We definitely could have fit the tune of Hicktown by Jason Aldean. We definitely could have fit that song, but we also listened to Sweet Caroline in the stands of Holland Field, and Pocket Full of Sunshine escapes from the, fo the football locker room doors. On the other hand, there are times in our lives when things slow down and we feel sadness, like today, the last time we are all together as one. Pretty bittersweet if you ask me. As we sit in these very chairs, in the back of our minds we hear Good Riddance by Green Day and the Fast and Furious classic See You Again. Although this may be one of the last times we're here together, the memories will keep this group alive for times to come. Although the past 12 years have not been total smooth sailing, there is one thing I can assure you, and that is we all have grown. We have started to grow into who we will be outside of high school, people that I know will have a great impact on the world. Although the climb, as Miley Cyrus would say, isn't over, it's moments like these that make up our high school career and really put things into perspective. These are moments that we can hold on to for forever. Truthfully, I can say I'm extremely excited to start the next page in my life. The possibilities are endless. We get to write the next chapter. If there's one point I want to make, it's that it will rain, as Bruno Mars says, but without the rain, nothing will grow. So take this chance after high school and blossom into the person you want to be. It has been a dream to grow up with these people around me and to have the opportunity to speak today. As the classic high school musical from our childhood says, we're all in this together. That is what we have done the past 12 years, shared the same halls, some of the same classes, and definitely some of the same dreadful homework. But to be honest, I'm certain I wouldn't change a thing. By the way, Mom, did you get this on Facebook Live? Haley Niprat, if you would please come forward. Life is all about change and growth. We come into this world completely helpless, depending on our parents to nurture us and care for us. As we quickly begin to grow, so does our independence. Soon we are mobile, no longer needing our mom and dad to carry us everywhere. We begin to talk and voice our own opinions. My favorite word was and still is no. At Humkey, we were taught to have good manners, how to treat others the way we wanted to be treated, and how to master hot cross buns on the recorder. We learned bike safety as we, roast, as we raced our way through the bike rodeo and learned to lasso our reading skills through reading roundup. But most importantly, I learned that boys have cooties. Middle school taught us how to be trendy, from lumberjack gear to knee-high socks, bright leggings, and short shorts. We learned how to coordinate our outfits. We learned all about how a sewage system works, how to juggle and play a mean game of chess. Math had been a breeze. Then we met Mr. Parks. And yes, he's still waiting. <laughs> and finally, or most importantly, boys still have cooties. High school was a whole different ball game. It was our time to explore and find ourselves. We learned what happens if Tempest sees your phone out in this class, and what happens when you get rocks or talking about submarines. You finally experienced true anxiety when you waited to see if Dr. Dye was going to extend tonight's deadline for the three-page paper you haven't even started yet. We celebrated our success in convincing Genrick to make it a team test after spending half the class talking about our weekend. We feared being pelted and bruised during Stralo's dodgeball unit, and we laughed until Senora cried, listening, her to say, listening to her share silly stories of her own children. Luckily, we escaped Brost almost blowing up the school. And now, I think, boys don't have cooties so much anymore. Okay. Our biggest change is yet to come. Now is the time our real lives begin. We will learn to live on our own, which means cleaning once a month, only doing laundry when we run out of clothes, and living off ramen and instant mac. It will only get far harder from here. Paying bills, finding time to actually study and keep your grades up, did you know your parents can't call your teachers in college? Rough. Our next chapter is going to be difficult. There will be times when we want to give up, go back in time, and just escape the everyday chores of being an adult. But when it comes to it, but it will also be the time of our lives. We will learn and experience so many new things, and once again, we will grow. As I look back at all we have accomplished and endured the past 12 years, I can honestly say that we are ready. We can conquer all that life throws at us. 
After all, we are the class with the most successful senior skip day. Am I right? As we continue down our separate paths, I hope you all remember what it was like to be a paper maker. And when it comes down to it, I hope you all share the lessons you learned here with your children. And remember, boys will always have cooties. Right, Dad? Thank you, Haley. And Mr. Brent Hall, if you would please come forward. Let me start by saying that I'm so grateful to be standing here as part of one of the most talented, creative, smart, funny, and without a doubt, good-looking classes to ever, ever walk the halls. <laughs> and now we're graduating. We've been waiting four long years to get the heck out of this place we got to know like our own home, a place we learned to find comfort, a place we put in a lot of hard work, a place we broke exit signs with our heads, climbed through the ceiling, and spent entire class periods in the incubator. A place we prayed the teachers never heard about what we did. A place we grew into who we are today. This next step in our lives is honestly terrifying, but it's also going to be one of the most valuable. For as long as we can remember, we've had an idea about what to expect in the upcoming months and years. We followed the same pattern between home and school and worked hard to meet the expectations that were given to us. Now it is our time to decide what we want to do with our lives. We're gonna make our own decisions about what is important and what we can let slide. The opinions and expectations that once ruled our daily lives and helped us get to where we are today will no longer be a constant factor. It's all up to us and it's our own decisions going forward. We've all been told over and over to follow our dreams, but in reality, we're pushed towards things that aren't as risky. When we were kids, we didn't care that going to the moon or playing in the NFL would require a ton of work. We simply knew we wanted to do it. So many outside factors get in the way of our dreams. Sometimes it is our own fears and lack of confidence, and sometimes it's something uncontrollable, or just the fact that we're actually really bad at football. But whatever it is, those dreams get pushed away. I hope that we are a class that has dreams and sticks with them, that we take risks when we need to, and we keep one we keep following our dreams, so we love what we do. We only get one life to experience as much as possible, so why not spend it doing what we love? Therefore, when trying to think about what, we, what to do after we leave here today, think about what you're truly passionate about, something you absolutely love. Follow your passions and pursue them as much as possible. And if nothing comes to mind, put yourself out there. Try as many things as you can. You'll never know if you like something until you try it. I would have never known what it was like to have an old man haircut if I didn't get an old man haircut. <laughs> I'm going to leave you guys with my two favorite quotes. The first one is from my favorite book, Into the Wild, when Christopher McCandless says, happiness is only real when shared. The other is from a sophomore here at Nakusa High School, Mike Arizar. You're very lucky, you're very unlucky. Bonjour and thank you. Thank you, Brant. Mr. Richard Reeves was a teacher at Nakusa High School for almost 20 years. He passed away while still teaching at the school, and in his memory, the Richard Reeves Award was created. Each department in the high school chooses one student who, throughout their career at NHS, has exemplified the characteristics of integrity, hard work, and achievement in that subject area. This year's Reeves Award winners are noted in the program by their names, are two asterisks, in addition, these students, as part of their graduation regalia, were invited to wear a medallion that they received at a dinner this past May. Would the recipients of the Reeves Award and their parents or guardians please stand at this time? With us today are Mr. Terry Whitmore, Nakusa School District Superintendent, and Mr. Brian Giese, School Board President. Mr. Whitmore and Mr. Giese, it is my honor to inform you that the seat students seated before us have met or exceeded the requirements to receive a high school diploma as set forth by the School District of Nakusa and the State of Wisconsin. 
Based on this, Mr. Whitmore, it is my recommendation that an Akusa High School diploma be conferred upon these students. Mr. Whitmore. Thank you, Mr. Johnson. On behalf of the Nakusa School Board of Education District staff and the Nakusa community, I too would like to again extend another congratulations to each of you today and also thank the parents, family, teachers, and friends for doing your part in helping our graduates successfully complete the K-12 chapter of their lives. So as your district administrator preparing to share a few words on your graduation day, I wanted to share one virtue I, was, I had six, but they said, no, I can only share one, so I had, to, I had to really refine my thinking. So virtues are the very meaning and purpose of our lives, the content of our character, and the truest expression of who we are as a people. So the virtue that I chose that I've heard a lot of, of in your uh, speeches so far is determination. Determination is focusing your energy and efforts on a task and sticking with it until finished. I heard lots of that. Determination is using your willpower to do something when it isn't easy. You are determined to meet your goals even when it is hard and you're being tested. With determination, you make your dreams come true. So graduates with the many requirements and accomplishments that have been shared today and, and many that weren't shared, uh, each of you have practiced a great deal of determination. So continue to be determined and in your life, and you will accomplish your many hopes and dreams. So graduates, from the words of British actor Aliyah Bob, whatever you do, do with determination. You have one life to live. Do your work with passion and give it your best. Whether you want to be a chef, a doctor, an actor, a mother, a father, be passionate to get the best results. So by the powers vested in me, by the state of Wisconsin, the Wisconsin Department of Public Instruction, and the Nakusa School Board, I officially declare that you, the candidates, are about to receive your diploma, graduates of Nakusa High School. Nakusa High School, please call the graduates forward to receive their diplomas. Alex Christopher Alde. Carson Edwin Allison. Michaela Jean Amundsen. Dylan Thomas Bills. <laughs> Kenyon Jeffrey Black. Riley Alexandra Black. Maxwell Chad Bovin. Jordan Ann Marie Bonnell. Orion James Bretta.
Anna Lee Nicole Brockman. Milo Joseph Brunet. Matthew James Campo. Terry Shane Carlson. Daniel Cavada. <laughs> Isaac Quincy Decora. Benjamin Harley Deckett. Kelly Devon Dine. Summer Rain Dick. Drew Gilbert Henry Doberiner. Ryan Doherty. Alexia Elizabeth Dye. <laughs> Jedediah Ecker. <laughs> Isaiah John Elmhorst. Bailey Marie Emery. <laughs> Bailey Aaron Esser. Congratulations, Bailey. Haley Faye Evenson. Alexis Isabel Ferkus. <laughs> Casey F. Easy. <laughs> Jasmine Gonzalez. Colin Scott Gustafson. Brant Nicholas Hall. Hunter Michael Hamill. Danielle Irene Henriksen. Emma Rose Henriksen.
Gavin Robert Hoyer. Tanner Ray Hintz. Garrett Dale Davis Holbert. Christian Antonio Houseworth. Natasha Ray Janicki. Jasmine Lynn July. Autumn J. Kelly. Angela Lee Niprak. Haley Ann Niprak. Christopher William Knuth. Keegan John Polo. Austin James Kubishek. Emily Lynn Potter. <laughs> Jacob Matthew Reinschman. <laughs> Adrian Gabriel Rodriguez. Kayla May Schmidt. Congratulations. 
Leanna May Shane. Aaron Elaine Saipo. Bowden Tanner Smith. Zoe Anna Sorensen. Sydney Ann Spang. <laughs> Joseph Robert David Sprague. <laughs> Tara Jane Steckley. Noah James Stickney. Caitlin Marie Stojak. Austin Lee Sutherland. Isaiah Asbury Sylvester. Nicholas L. Ulrich. Abigail Nicole Wenzel. Lillian Catherine Wenzel. <laughs> Leah Marie Wilson. <laughs> Stephanie Ruth Winker. Ethan A. Weimer. <laughs> Jenna Elizabeth Houston. Laura Elizabeth Zavala. Megan Ann Zorowski. This year, the class of 2019 has selected Mrs. Candace Stralo as their guest speaker. Can you guys believe it? The day is finally here. The day you've been waiting for for the past four years. The day that seems so far away, but now that it's here, it went so fast. 
It, the day is June 2nd, 2019. The day the class of 2019 graduates from Nakusa High School. Your day is here. To the class of 2019, it is a great honor to stand before you and give you one final Mama Stradle chat. About a month ago, a beautiful young gal came up to me and she said she had a very important question for me. She was really secretive, which led me to wonder exactly what is she gonna say? Finally, she whispered in my ear, will you be our graduation speaker? This is something I've never been asked for before. In 14 years, she still managed to surprise me. However, it's not something that took me long to process or think about, it was an instant yes. In thinking about what to say to you, I've always been trying to come up with something prolific or epic that you will always remember. So in the future, you'll think back, remember, hey, remember when Stralo said that great, glorious statement and it just stuck with me? Um, guys, I don't got that. No matter how hard I tried, it's just not me. But what I have for you is the mom chat. I have words of guidance, praise, and most importantly, love. To start with guidance, throughout your time at Nakusa High School, you have learned to be badminton champions, write an essay, solve multiple set math problems, and memorize your states and capitals. You will never forget Boise. Yes. <laughs> These tools will provide you with the knowledge that your foundation for future learning and experiences. However, those are not the most important lessons we hope you learn from us. This year, as a staff, we were asked what skills and qualities do we want the graduates of Nakusa High School to have when they leave our school? As a staff, it was a pretty easy answer. The most common response was, we want people to go out there and make this world a better place. Our students are going to be the people who are kind, compassionate, and empathetic to others. They're gonna work hard and be problem solvers. They're gonna be resilient to life challenges. As a staff, we have a passion for our subject area, but those are not the most important lessons you have learned from us. The important lessons are those small moments that made an impact on your life and guided you to be better, taught you to never settle for okay but strive for more, and allowed you to make a mistake, learn and grow from it. You show and show you just how amazing each one of you truly is. We want you to go out there and make the choice to leave a place, situation, or event better than how you found it. Remember, you have the ability and the power to do great things. And moving into praise for you guys, I could easily stand before you and share a story and event that happened with each one of you. Each one of you holds a very special place in my heart that will always be yours. You guys are amazing. You have worked hard to get where you are today. Take time to celebrate who you are and what you've done. When I think back to when you first entered this school your freshman year and came to the open house in August, you guys were a squirrely little bunch. You were going around trying to figure out who was who on the clue sheet with our teachers. I remember there was a group of you, and I'm not gonna name the names right now, but you walked up and you literally went through the whole sheet with me. And I had to say, no, no, no. My clue was, I love the Brewers. I was wearing a Brewers t-shirt, a Brewers jersey, and a Brewers lanyard around my neck. Yet you still had no clue. <laughs> so, Throughout, it was, um, throughout the four years, though, you've become much more observant. You've grown and you've matured. You've become the people who are ready to move on to the next chapter in life, and you're ready to do so. You each have unique skills and qualities to offer the world. You have something, one, each one of you individually has something wonderful to share and offer. Go out there, share those things, and let the world know just how great you are. Remember, there's only one you, and that makes you totally awesome. And finally, always remember that you are loved. This gym is filled with people who love and support you. Your family, friends, and staff care about each one of you. We all want nothing but the best for you, always. You're going to go into this world and spread your wings. You're gonna have great success and you're gonna have struggles along the way. However, these people will always be there for you when you need it and support you through those tough times. Never think you are alone in this world because if all else fails, you have a crazy gym teacher back in my little back cave that'll be waiting for you. We cannot wait to see what you do with your lives and how you will continue to grow and learn and become a better person. Each night, I tell my kids, remember, you are braver than you believe, you are stronger than you seem, you are smarter than you think, and you are loved more than you'll ever know. Remember, you are always loved. Class of 2019, go out, do amazing things. Continue to be wonderful people that you are, and always remember how much you're cared about. 
Thank you for asking me to speak to you today. You mean the world to me, and I look forward to seeing what your future holds. Congratulations, class of 2019. Thank you, Mrs. Stralo. Next, we will have the Nakusa High School Choir, under the direction of Mr. Bill Seiple, perform For Good from the musical Wicked. Seniors who are members of the choir, if you would please join the other choir members at this time.
Thank you, Mr. Seifo and the Nakusa High School Choir. The Nakusa High School Band, under the direction of Mr. Larry Glenzer, will be performing Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. Senior members of the band, if you would please join the band at this time.
Thank you, Mr. Glenzer and the Nakusa High School Band. Next, we will be viewing a video tribute to the class of 2019. I would like to thank Mrs. Jen Jackson for all of the effort that she has put into creating this video.
The senior class has chosen Mr. Milo Brunette to deliver the senior farewell. Mr. Brunette, if you would please come to the podium at this time. Mr. Johnson. Good afternoon. As he said, my name is Milo Brunette, and I am honored today to address the wonderful class of 2019. While it may seem bittersweet, our ceremony is coming to a close soon, and I am here to say goodbye. Typically, goodbye signifies an end, but I can't help but feel that for us, it's more of a beginning. Let, let me back up. Personally, these last 12 years have been quite the adventure. I've been lucky enough to create a wealth of unforgettable memories, like being this close to prom court junior year, or back to Mr. Parks' eighth grade math class when Adrian threw up all over me. <laughs> Even the excitement of the bike rodeo all the way back in elementary school brings me a fond sense of nostalgia. Luckiest of all, though, is how I had the pleasure, the privilege, of making every one of these memories with each and every one of you by my side. More recently, I've been watching many of you start to take charge in your lives. <clears throat> Excuse me. Some of you have worked really hard to earn respectable honors, and some of you have made an effort to gain as much knowledge as possible. Some of you have put your efforts towards other things, embracing your artistic side, for example, or creating things with your hands. Some of us are still trying to decide what we want to focus our efforts on, and that is perfectly fine too. Regardless of whichever category you belong to, I'm confident that all of you are capable of turning it into a success. Steve Jobs, co-founder of Apple, once said, you cannot connect the dots looking forward. You can only connect them looking backwards. For as much as you may try, you will never be able to plan every single part of your life. The only way you will be able to see a definite path is through hindsight. There will be countless twists and countless turns to get you to where you need to go. Maybe you don't know which routes to take. Maybe you need to backtrack a little. Whatever the case may be, just know that wherever you are, if you're satisfied, you are exactly where you need to be. Now, the night that I wrote this speech was the same day that I was having people sign my yearbook, just a couple days ago. Every so often, when I needed inspiration for this speech, I would go through my yearbook and admire every single thoughtful note and scribbled signature. Admittedly, they brought tears to my eyes, and I was moved into a sentimental and nostalgic mood. This made me realize how lucky I was to be part of such an exceptional group of people. Because of this realization, I would like to ask my fellow graduates of 2019 to take a moment to look around at our classmates. These people that you see may continue with you on your life's path, but the reality is today could be the last time you see some of your fellow graduates. Whether that makes you glad or sad, I ask that you cherish these shared final moments between us as the class of 2019. Have a fantastic summer. Thank you. Thank you, Milo. Before closing, I would like to thank some people for all of their efforts to make today possible. Mrs. Bray, my administrative assistant, and Mrs. Taylor, our office clerical assistant, for tasks too numerous to mention them all. Mrs. Sievers, our school counselor, and Mrs. Kreider, the administrative assistant in the counseling office, they have put a lot of effort into making sure all the I's are dotted and the T's are crossed for these students today. Nakusa School District, current and retired faculty and staff for all of the work helping these students today and throughout this year and the years before, if you would please stand, if all of those people mentioned would please stand and be recognized at this time. Also, our custodial staff for the work in setting up for today, members of the Nakusa School District Board of Education, thank you for your work that you do for the school district and for the students in this district. 
Finally, if you are a parent, step parent or guardian, please stand. I want to thank you. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to work with you and your child. Seniors, as you go forward and commence with the next stage of your life, there will be high points and low points. You will have successes and failures. What at first looks like success may end up being failure, and what at first looks like failure may turn out to be one of the most important turning points in your life. I can't, you can't, no one can predict what is going to happen. But as you go forward, I have a few requests. First, go through life aware of what is going around you, on around you, and in your community, nation, the world. It is easy to go through life with blinders on, or more appropriately, earbuds in, and not notice a thing going on around you. Pay attention and be aware as you move forward. Second, make a positive difference. We all make a difference. Make sure that yours is a positive one. It's easy to say, I don't care, or I can't do anything about that. However, that is often not true. You can make a difference, and sometimes a huge difference. Finally, treat people with respect. Every person you meet is someone with their own needs, challenges, and goals. I hope that in your life you meet many people with opinions different from your own. Listen to their ideas. This doesn't mean you have to agree with them. It doesn't mean you need to change your ideas, but be open to changing your opinions. Be open to new ideas, and even if you don't change, treat them with respect. You can only control yourself. Not everyone will treat you with respect, but you choose how you react. Graduates, congratulations on your achievement, and I wish you all of the best. It is tradition that the tassel be moved to signify the transition from candidate for graduation to graduate. You now have your diplomas. Our ceremony will be concluding. Graduates, at this time, if you would please move your tassel from the right side of your cap to the left side of your cap. Class of 2019, if you would please rise and face the audience. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Nakusa High School Class of 2019.